Welcome to part 2 of creating animation effects in EverWeb. In the first video, we looked at many ways in which you can use EverWeb to create some great animation effects for your web pages. In this video, we're going to show you more effects and give you some hints and tips on using animation with EverWeb. Let's start with the small business company. As you can see, there's a lot going on on this page, probably too much. It's difficult to know where to look and what to focus on. I've included this example to show you how easy it is to get carried away and overload the page so that it becomes just a jumble of effects. In the next example, there's still a lot going on, but it's more coherent, as the animation first focuses you on the top of the page, and then works its way down in a controlled manner. At the end, the text scrolls up to encourage us to read the text. The arrow that comes in is for the visitor to click on, to go to the next page in John and Sarah's story. As you can see, the animation has been storyboarded to create a flow of events. In our next example, we have a web page that is promoting a band's tour. Images of the band members come in in a dramatic fashion. Then the tour date flashes, followed by a fade-in that shows where to focus to buy tickets. The main image comes in with the following settings. The images of the other band members follow using these settings. The flashing date uses these settings. The next example shows you how to create a clouds passing by effect using the daycare theme template. Select one of the cloud images in the template and add the following animation settings to it. Next, copy and paste the cloud in a few times across the whole width of the page to create the effect. Remember that where you place the clouds is where they will be at the end of the animation. Our last example is from a photographer's website. Here I wanted to showcase the work first before bringing in the other elements of the page. So I've used a flip vertical effect for all of the images before bringing in the other elements using the fade in place effect. The important thing about this page is that it uses different timings to give a subtle sweeping effect to the whole page. The timings in the examples I have shown you in this video are often down to one tenth of a second, as you can change the whole effect just by nudging the timing one tenth of a second more or one tenth of a second less in your animation.